Okay, so this is this is Foreman video part two. I've taken the new beautiful display, which is an electric shift display, and I put it on an S model, which is a manual shift. This doesn't have the switches on the bar, so you can't switch it or shift it electronically. The plugs were different between the two displays, <clears throat> so I didn't want to cut the harness, but I had no choice. So I cut the new harness, and I used a bunch of these solder shrink tube splices, which are fantastic, but I ran out of them. So then I had to do four conventional splices, um, butt splices, and I threw some shrink tube, tube over them. There's two wires that are not used. So I just put some shrink tube on them. Now I'm gonna wrap the whole thing up, tape it all up nice and tight so it's nice and tidy. And you know, then comes the test. After lining up, oh, by the way, all I did was match all of the color coding on the wiring to the color coding on the newer style display. And so far, it looks like it worked. And look at that, isn't that fabulous? I don't know if gear position, well, it won't. I mean, obviously there's no gear selector switch on this to give it gear position information. So that'll probably just stay dashed all the time. Um, but it should show reverse and it uh, displays the temp, of course. I think that's a test mode, like when you turn it on. Yeah, it comes on to show you the lights working. And then after a couple of seconds, it goes out. But hell, I might even have a speedometer. I don't know. It's, um, yeah, I think we'll do that tomorrow, maybe. But look at that. I'm thrilled. It looks so much better. I mean, it's a piece of junk. Obviously, it's just a piece of crap old 21-year-old buggy, but it sure looks a lot better than this. And that really was the goal. So, win. A little bit of wiring, and, and we are in business. Makes it look so much more valuable, even though it's not worth anything. <laughs> and it's yellow. Why do I hate yellow, eh? Why do I hate yellow? Anyway, so that's it for tonight. I'm going to wrap that up. Um, we got a new ignition switch coming. So hopefully that'll fix the power to the fan problem. And uh, we'll be able to button this thing up and start using it. That'd be fantastic. All right. Cheers.